So ladies and gentlemen in this video I am going to teach you how to create wrinkles manually without adding extra images. So without wasting time let's get started. In this video I am going to show you how to create wrinkles in this white sheet and next to this cartoon image and next to this realistic image. Okay. First we will start with the white sheet. So before creating wrinkles you have to remember three colors. First one dark color, second one is main subject color and the third one is in between main subject and the dark color. Okay. I know now you will not understand anything but I will show you the perfect example then you will understand clearly. Okay. Now we will create wrinkles in this white sheet. First go to this layer and go to exposure and make sure you select this button and decrease the exposure okay now press ctrl i to inverse it okay now for creating wrinkles we are going to use two brush one is this one and another one is mixed brush okay so first we are going to use mixed brush so make sure you have wet 20 percent and flow as a hundred okay now make sure you have white and black color and if you have white you can paint it if you have black you can erase it Okay. to switch between white and black use x if you press x you can switch between white and black now start drawing a shape for wrinkles so i'm going to use this shape and switch to black and remove the center color like this And one more thing wrinkles as a sharper edges so starting should be sharper and ending should be sharper not too much sharp but in between sharp okay now make this edge a little bit sharper like this okay and here also this is enough now remove the center color little more like this Now I told you one side should be darker and another side should be in between dark and the main subjects. So this is the darker side and the center part is the main subject color which is white paper. Okay. And I'm going to make this side a little bit light dark. Remove this like this. Like this and little bit remove the extra parts i mean extra colors don't remove too much it won't look nice okay and remove these things see it's looking good right that's all simple it's very very simple so let me create another one make sure you have selected mixed brush and switch to white and draw a shape for wrinkles and switch to black and remove the center color like this and make sure you have a sharper edge and one side remove the darker black and remove extra colors i think you have to remove a little bit center part like this nice right now let me move to the second one so we'll create wrinkles to this image okay same procedure select the layer and go to exposure make sure you clip this and reduce the exposure press ctrl i to inverse and make sure you're white and start painting 
I'm going to create wrinkles here. Okay, so just start draw like this. Okay, now switch to black. Try to remove the center part here. You you no need to uh, remove exactly the center part. Just try to remove this. Okay, like this. And make sure you have a sharp edge with this and remove the extra black dark color like this see that's it it's very very simple right simple so this is before this is after let me do this side also make sure white and draw the shape Actually, I'm not uh, good in drawing. So if you draw, make sure you draw the perfect shape. Okay. But this is the idea is this. This is the basic idea. Like this. Switch to black and try to remove the center one. like this and make sure you have sharper edge like this that's it very very simple right it will look complicated but when you started working on it you will find it easy way okay now let me go to this image for this image you cannot go directly to this layer and create exposure and just draw wrinkles it will not look realistic for this image you have to find the darker color okay so for example i'm going to create a wrinkles here so you have to find the darker color select this brush and press alt and you can see the cursor is changing right so here the darker color is this just click it you can see the color is changing right you can just click it and create a new layer and press alt and delete now again press alt and click this mask button Okay. now this time use this brush and make sure you are white and you have 100% opacity and flow and just draw shape okay like this make sure you draw this shape perfectly okay and switch to mixer brush what this brush does is if you paint top it will make the edges smoother see before after okay now switch to black and try to remove the center part like this make sure you have a sharp edge and remove extra black that's it see simple before after nice right if you draw the correct shape you will get the realistic result okay so this is before and this is after okay same way we will create wrinkles here take the brush switch to white and draw the shape like this like this and switch to mixer brush draw it on the top like this switch to black and remove the color center color like 
done solved. See? Before after. Nice, right? It's very, very simple, right? Now, can you use this same layer to create wrinkles in this side? You can't do it. Let me tell you why. This side, you don't have any shadows. That's why I'm using this darker color. But this side, we have shadows. So if you try to use the same color, you cannot see the color itself. See? You can't see. Okay? So what to do? For that, create a new layer and switch to this brush and press Alt and find the darker color. So shadow, it's obviously the black color. So I'm going to choose this color, not this much, not this black. In between black, light and dark black, okay? So choose this color and now press alt and delete now again press alt and click this mask button okay now as usual take the brush start creating the shapes like this make sure i'm again telling you have to create the perfect shape okay that's up to you like this sorry like this like this okay now take the mixer brush and draw this again like this. Now switch to black and remove the middle color. And make sure you have a sharper edge like this. like this see that's it it's looking real right okay now let me add up bigger wrinkles okay same way go to this select this brush make this brush big and start drawing Switch to mixer brush and draw this a little bit bigger. Okay. Now switch to black and remove these center part. Before that, make the make this sharp edges. This. Okay. Here also. Now remove the center part. It is a bigger wrinkle that's why it is looking awkward, okay? But if you use this wrinkle in a right image, it will really look realistic, okay? Now, make the edges a little bit sharper. And remove this extra color. This. See? Very, very simple, right? If you want, you can uh, remove center but little bit more. Like this. Very, very simple. Right? Now let me create another wrinkles this side. Go to this, switch to brush, make this white and draw. Sorry. Draw this shape. like this okay switch to mixer brush and again draw on the top if you want to know more about a mixer brush 
just comment it below i will put on another uh, tutorial for this okay now switch to batch switch to now switch to black and remove the center part see simple light i think remove little bit in darkness here nice right so for last i am going to create wrinkles here so switch to brush make a bigger wrinkles switch to white and draw the shape okay switch to mixer brush again draw this switch to black and remove the center part like this and make sure you have a sharper edge make sure you remove little bit darker color this side also and i think remove little bit center make sure you have sharper edge here also just play with this flow okay you can control these intensity of the brush okay nice right it is looking like a patch kind of wrinkles so very very simple right so again <laughs> for the last time i'm going to create wrinkles right here so switch to brush switch to white and start painting like this i think we'll go here okay, like this switch to mixer brush paint it on the top like this switch to black and remove the center part Increase the flow. Like this. See? That's it. So this is before. This is after. So I hope you like this video. Make sure to press the subscribe button and the bell icon. I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.